Hi everybody, I'd like to welcome you to TNJ Soaps. I'm Teresa, the T in the TNJ, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to felt a soap. These are just an example of felted soaps, and um, they're very soft. Um, the reason we use the wool is it's a very gentle exfoliator on your skin. Um, wool contains lanolin oil, and that's good for keeping your skin soft and supple. And um, this is what they're going to look like when they're finished. So, these are the bags back here. And I've got one up front here, so I'm going to look in my bag and pull everything out. We've got a piece of netting here. Here's my bar of soap. And I've gone ahead and cut the lengths and your bar is going to be inside. And there's a pair of rubber gloves in here. So we're going to put those on. Um, first, if you want, you can just take the wrapper off. You don't need that guy on there anymore. Set him off to the side. Um, I'm gonna put my gloves on now. And once we start working the wool, um, you may see your gloves change color slightly, and that is the lanolin oil coming out of the wool. So we're gonna take our wool. It's got some rough edges or a solid edge there. Um, we want to kind of shape it widthwise to the bar. I'm gonna stretch it out, maybe just a little squeak like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my bar, doesn't matter which way you lay it, set it on top there, and then you're going to grab the wool and pull it around the one end, and then just roll it, grab the other end. You wanna keep a fair bit of tension on the wool, and then you can just pull it and wrap it around like that. And you're gonna take your other piece of wool I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit. You can pull the wool gently uh, to stretch it if you need to. And then I'm going to wrap the bar the other way in the wool. And just pull it over the end there. You wanna make sure your corners are covered. Keeping the tension on the wool. And I've got a bit of extra here that's okay I'm just gonna pull that just keep pulling it and wrap it around so there is the beginning of your felted soap now we're gonna put it into or take your net in and just open it up and then just put it over top of your bar and then wrap it around and grab it at the bottom and then twist it. This is going to help shape the wool onto the bar and um, it's the roughness of the netting is going to help work the fibers, the wool fibers. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go over to my sink and I'm gonna soak this in hot water. Let the hot water run over it until it's completely soaking wet. I'm gonna give that a twist, just to keep that nice and tight. And then I'm gonna squeeze all the excess water out. So now we're going to start the actual felting. So the felting is combining the fibers of the wool together into a mat. We're gonna use our hands for that. And all you're gonna start doing is just working the wool. You're gonna get really strong thumb muscles if you do this a lot. And as you can see, the lather's already starting to come through the wool. And every now and then I just stop and give this a twist. 
that tightens it back up onto the bar. And then I'm gonna keep working. So while I'm gonna do this, um, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about our soaps. I've been making these for almost 20 years now. Uh, my mom and I started back in 2000 and I was having eczema issues. I was on cortisone creams and we wanted to look for a natural alternative. Um, so through lots of research and trial and error, we developed the soap that you're gonna be using here today, which is a goat's milk soap. And goat's milk is a very good natural moisturizer for your skin. It's um, very helpful with conditions like eczema and psoriasis, and it makes for a very hard soap. So you don't get the mess in your soap dish and it doesn't leave a film on your skin. And as you can see, you get a very creamy lather uh, from the goat's milk. Now, you might find that you're gonna get some <clears throat> wool tufting out of there. You can just simply pull that off. Just keep tightening and working the wool. And the use of goat's milk goes as far back to Cleopatra, who used to bathe in it. She was known for beautiful skin, I guess. So you're going to know <clears throat> when the bar is done, when the wool stops moving. So if you're taking your fingers and your the wool is still moving, keep working it. You know, it varies on the wool. Sometimes the, the wool can be different thicknesses. And um, so I'm gonna say average about 15 to 20 minutes is what you're gonna have to work it. Yeah, that's my drying racks there. So they cure for a month. How come they have to cure for a whole month? Um, like good cheese or good wine, if it's made the old fashioned way, it's gonna cure and that is going to create for a very hard soap, long-lasting soap. And um, at the end, the scent and the colors, everything are set, and you could use it 100 years from now, and it will still give you the same lather. That's impressive. Yeah. Okay, so the wool has pretty much stopped moving on here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take it over to the sink and I'm going to rinse it again. I'm gonna make sure your edges and corners are good. Okay. So are you using hot water again? Hot water, yeah. The hot water helps to shrink the wool. And I'm gonna squeeze it out. Now we're half done. So we're going to let the soap unwind out of there, take it out of the netting, gently pull that off. Okay, now we're going to turn it over and do the exact same thing. So I'm gonna put the netting over top again, pull it around, twist it underneath and tighten it up. And now we're gonna do the same thing to this side. intensive uh, job um, but that's how you get the quality and uh, for myself I found I had to get away from a lot of commercial products because of the additives in them and a lot of them 
like sodium lauryl sulfates, uh, which is a sudzine agent, is actually a skin irritant. So, now you can see all that beautiful creamy goat's milk leather. Yep. So, the wool has pretty much stopped moving on here now. And when uh, we're done here, you're gonna let your bar sit overnight so the wool dries. And then you can use it right away in the shower. And you're gonna find that these soaps last from three to five months, even longer. Um, the other nice thing about wool is that it's antimicrobial, so it never develops bacteria on it. People always ask me, what about when the wool is wet? And I say, you don't have to worry because our sheep are okay too. The wool is antimicrobial. So there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to Rinse it off in hot water again. Tighten it up. Squeeze it out. And so we're almost done. We're just going to take our netting off. And I'm gonna put it on my drying rack. And there is your felted soap with no seams in it. And um, if you don't happen to like the scent that you get uh, in your bag, gift it to somebody. They're great Christmas presents, gifts. Everybody can use a bar of soap. So I'd really like to thank you for joining me today. I hope you um, found it interesting learning how to felt a soap. Uh, wool is a great fiber, great natural fiber. Uh, they're beautiful on your face, very gentle. And um, the lanolin oil is going to keep your skin soft and supple, and that's going to help you over the winter. So uh, thanks again, and uh, feel free to contact me on my Facebook or website, TNJ Soaps. Thanks very much. Have a great day.